In today's video, a bunch of brand new Blender add-ons and updates that can cover different aspects of your 3D workflow, from creating stylized grass in addition to modeling and animation add-ons. But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that we are going through the Black Friday to Cyber Monday sale. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Especially on the Blender market, because they are having a big discount of up to 30%. And other developers, even more than that. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the top Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. We're gonna start with Better Primitives by CG Matter, and this is actually a perfect name for this add-on, because it makes working with primitive shapes way easier. Usually when adding primitive shapes and adjusting their parameters, you might accidentally click away or move the object slightly, and just like that, you will lose access to those parameters, which means you will have to do the whole process again. But with this tool, you can keep tweaking shapes in real time, like resizing a cylinder or adding loop cuts to a grid. You can also adjust sphere segments or tweak a torso's radius. Another thing worth mentioning is that each shape has its own very custom controls that appear in the viewport, making it easy to fine-tune these meshes as you are modeling, which is great. And this tool actually works with modifiers, so you can stack effects like wireframes or displacements without losing that procedural flexibility. And after some time in development, the True Terrain add-on from TrueVFX has received a new update. True Terrain 5 is now here, and it has brought with it some improvements and a bunch of new features. Among them, the enhancement of the material system, which can now support more customizations, better layering, and some advanced blending options. Some new tools for terrain shaping have been added too including erosion simulations and a final control for realistic terrain creation. The water system and vegetation scattering have also seen some improvements. And I kind of like the new improvements to the water system, especially how the water can now interact with the environment in a more realistic way. There is also a new add-on called Stylized Animated Grass, which is an add-on that makes creating animated grass so much simpler and easier. Just select the type of grass that you want to add and simply paint it on top of your mesh. And that's literally it. The add-on is actually powered by geometry nodes, so you can tweak every aspect about the assets, like the density amount and factor, adding variety using noise, and you can adjust the seed, scale, and more. And of course, it wouldn't really make sense not to have wind controls. So you can actually get control over the speed, direction, noise, scale, and even a step motion option if you are into that kind of animation. Now that we've talked about these cool smart primitives, let's move to a tool that takes care of a common yet overlooked issue inside the Blender. And of course, I'm talking about scale. Auto Apply Scale is one of those add-ons that feels like it is small but actually makes a massive difference in your workflow. Because as a Blender user, you have probably had some problems with sketch textures, messed up bevels, or modifiers behaving strangely, and chances are you forgot to apply scale. And well, with this add-on, you'll make sure that this never happens again because it automatically applies scale to your object as you are working on it. Plus, there is a drop-down list that highlights objects with unapplied scales, making it easy to fix them at once in a short period of time. As you might expect, it is built in into Blender's item panel, so it doesn't clutter the UI, and you can customize it to work with different object types like meshes, armatures, or curves. So if you're like me and hate repetitive tasks, the auto-apply scale is a no-brainer. Now, let's talk about a new asset library for those of you who are into architectural visualization, and this one is called Polyspace Ultimate Bundle, and honestly, this is a stupidly large asset library that packs over 1900 assets, including all sorts of models and materials that will be exceptionally useful to populate your empty floor plans. The good thing is that the library is diverse. Honestly, there is a lot of stuff in there, covering everything from interiors and exteriors with architectural elements and natural elements, in addition to furniture, decoration items, and so much more. 
And the best part is that this library comes with the flow add-on that ties everything together, keeping your libraries neat and letting you tweak materials or add your own assets with ease. And it also comes with a couple of handy features like the ability to batch render views and save different setups, as well as the ability to quickly apply different materials using the Surface Painter. Now let's change the topic a bit and talk about animation with this new add-on called Motion Path Pro. So if you are into animation or you use animations in your workflow, then you probably understand the terror of having to fine tune your animations frame by frame. And this process can be very time consuming. That's where the Motion Path Pro comes in because using the add-on allows you to visualize your motion paths in real time in both the graph editor and the viewport. This makes it so much easier to see exactly how your animation flow after moving or changing up some keyframes. The interesting thing is that it works with everything, empties, cameras, meshes, and even character rigs. And the best part is that it turns the animation polishing process into something quick and satisfying. You simply adjust paths, smooth out the movements, and get those perfectly curved arcs without having to fiddle with keyframes a lot. Now, let's talk about the boring task of fixing open edges using the Open Edge Select add-on. If you're like me and you've wasted lots of time trying to find those tiny gaps in your mesh, then this next one might be interesting for you. The add-on allows you to easily highlight all the open edges in your model, so you can see exactly what needs fixing with your 3D mesh. From there, you can easily bridge gaps using tools like Blender's Bridge Edge Loops or the add-on's built-in Fill Edge Loop options, which lets you fill gaps with triangles or quads. And if you are feeling lazy and you don't want to go through the trouble, then the Auto Close Loops feature has you covered, selecting entire edge loops and bridging them in just seconds. Another new interesting add-on is called Easy Builder which is a pretty cool add-on that makes assembly modular assets super easy and simple. And it does so by using the smart quick grid system that enables you to quickly snap assets together in a uniform fashion. But if you need more freedom, then there is this free placement mode which lets you manually place your models like tables or chairs. But it doesn't stop there. It allows you to have multiple floors, just add a new one, and it will automatically adjust the ceiling height and stack the next floor perfectly. And if your walls start to get in the way of your view, consider using the X-ray mode that helps you see and edit inside closed rooms without any problems. It also comes with two great asset packs, one for futuristic corridors and the other for medieval scenes, and both of which can be used in your very own personal projects. Now let's take a look at Stylized Echo Kit, which is an asset library that is all about making those cute warm stylized scenes. The library is filled with everything that you're probably gonna need when working on stylized nature scenes, and it covers plants, dynamic trees, moss, vines, and even custom leaf shapes. And these assets can work using geometry nodes, so you can simply assign your terrain, grab the draw tool, and sketch your plant layout directly inside the viewport. You can also freely adjust the UVs of the leaves to refine their shape and tweak tree growth settings to match your vision. But also moss and vines can be dynamically added whatever you need them. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And again guys, this is an opportunity from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, so this is a great opportunity. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.